has the show changed in my time? The, the show does change really nightly. <laughs> and the newer, different actors take over the different parts. If you have a certain kind of a Carlotta, it's going to be a different show. If you have a different kind of Phantom, there are different kinds of Phantoms. There are different kinds of Christines. With Raoul, with Carlotta, with the, so with the principals, and even with the ensemble, even with the empower of the ensemble. So I think the show has morphed over all the years. I'm sure that someone who comes to see the show now or over the 22 years and saw it at the beginning would say that it's quite different. And yet the essence of the show is still there. It's still this man in love with this woman in this milieu, this incredibly gorgeous milieu. If, if the, the technical changes did anything, they rather focused the show and made things more powerful. And they keep the show at the same level it was when it opened. I know that's what we've heard and that's what he's done. And this phantom here also looks in just fresh, in great shape. That's why the show is the phenomenon that it is. There's no disappointment. There's that feeling about it. So the show retains its essence, really. You know, that's another thing. The audience is another thing that changes nightly. I remember one big change in New York. So we open the show in New York, and then you have all the, the theater people and people who go to theater from the tri-state area and who are definitely going to get in there, and all the people who are theater knowledgeable and knew what they were coming in to see. That takes some years for that audience to have had their fill. It didn't turn into this, but all of a sudden you were having more uh, tourists and people from all over the world coming to Phantom. So I remember a time when there's a, an actor really pays attention to reactions to lines, react, laugh, laughs and other kinds of reactions to lines. And all of a sudden there were certain laugh lines which the laughs kind of disappeared or became quite lessened. And I was like, what's happening here? What's going on? And then you realize, well, now we're getting a large part of the audience that doesn't speak English. <laughs> and even though there may be a translation going on, they're a little bit behind the beat, and there are references in Phantom that are so English-speaking that um, they miss those. They, mi they don't miss the essence of the show or the wonderfulness of the show, but there are those little tweaks in there that an actor will definitely see. So it, it was interesting to see that change happen in the audience. I know that, 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 uh, that there are audience members that come back time and time again. I know there are people who have racked up many 20s and 50s and 100 times of having seen the show, you know. And I, have, I actually have personal friends who, are, who I've made because they are fans of, of Phantom. And um, I don't know most of them personally. I don't, we don't really see them. I see a few, few rows into the audience each night. And there are some people who get on a, get on a, a trip where they'll come a lot, many times in a row. And I, I know there's a little Japanese girl who comes over every six months or a year. And all of a sudden she's standing in the alley after the show and she's got this cute smile on her face and she's got little gifts. And she's been coming for years now. And, uh, and uh, so she's an interesting kind of a fan. And she comes over, she saves her money and then comes over and just then sees Phantom maybe five or six times in a row and then goes home.